Okay, it's about 24 hours later. We filmed in less than 24 hours, built this Kenyan top bar beehive. Uh, he put, and within a half an hour of it being finished, before we could move the bees into it, they swarmed away. And we were just, we were so crestfallen and discouraged, like they don't love us and or want to stay with us. And we were all sad because now we have this empty beehive that Phil built and all, you know, and like a half hour timing. So anyway, we we um, we were packing up to go home and we found them swarming around a bush. So we moved the beehive there and then they swarmed off over here and we followed them and we're so glad they found this choice piece of bee real estate on their own. So queen, the queen knows what she's doing and that we're happy the bees are doing what bees are supposed to do. There is, it looks like in this old dead tree is an old wasp nest or an old beehive. There's some kind of old honeycomb structure inside it. So we moved the bee box here because it has the pollen and wax that they created that they put on the side of our house. We kind of put that in there. So we're going to let them choose in the next week where they want to be. And when we come back next week, we'll just look for them. And, and I have a feeling they'll probably stay in the trunk of the tree. And if, hopefully they'll stay there and be safe there because this is really, really good. They got all the pollen around here and there's no other animals or people that would want to exterminate them. They'd be really safe here, uh, secluded, out of the sun. So um, we'll just see. And if they don't, if nobody chooses our bee box in the next week or so, um, we're probably going to order a bee queen and, and have a third hive. Because we still have the original hive under our house. And this is the new queen and her hive that split. And then, you know, we just kind of got the idea that we want to have some bees. So that's what we'll do. So we'll keep you posted next week. Done.